Good day, and welcome to the Treasure Island Museum, located in the iconic Building One of the former Naval Station Treasure Island. I am Rear Admiral Tom Andrews, one of the directors on the board of the museum. While the building remains closed to the public during the pandemic, many of our exhibits are accessible online at treasureislandmuseum.org. Building One is one of the few buildings left over from the Golden Gate International Exposition held in 1939 and 1940. After the island was transferred to the Navy in 1940, it became the headquarters building for the base and in 1976, the Navy designated a portion of the building for a Naval Museum. That museum thrived for 21 years until the closure of the base through BRAC in 1997. It was brought back to life in 2008 by its partner civilian organization, now called the Treasure Island Museum, which now focuses on both the Navy and the Golden Gate International Exposition. Here you see the Lowell Nesbitt mural spanning the Art Deco lobby of the building. The mural depicts the history of the Navy in the Pacific from the days of sail through the conflicts of the late 20th century. For the past 12 years, the museum has carried on a number of programs, including a small exhibition gallery, while planning to bring back the full museum as part of the current redevelopment of the island. The museum hosts a monthly lecture series called Little Island Big Ideas, which has now moved onto Zoom for the duration of the closure. Fleet Week lectures in past years have featured the storied career of Admiral Chester Nimitz and the role of Pan Am Airways in the Pacific Theater. Though you can't enjoy the museum up close and personal now, there is plenty to see online at treasureislandmuseum.org. For example, the masthead was the official newspaper of the Navy support activity at Treasure Island for over 50 years. On our website, you can page through 18 months of the masthead and dive into life on the base during the last year of World War II. Another online exhibit covers the Port Chicago Naval Magazine explosion, which killed 320 people and injured 390 more. And the court-martial of black sailors accused of mutiny for refusing to go back to work handling ammo after the explosion. The trial was held on Naval Station Treasure Island. Treasure and Yerba Buena Islands have a number of historic buildings in addition to Building One, including the Nimitz House, which was the home of Admiral Chester Nimitz until his death in 1966. Here we see Rear Admiral John Bidoff, one of the last regional commanders to have lived in the Nimitz House, as he takes museum visitors on a tour. The Treasure Island Museum captures the best of Treasure Island. We look to the past with its beginnings as the Golden Gate International Exposition, to its nearly half century role as a West Coast headquarters for the Navy, and to its future as a new residential neighborhood and a destination for visitors from the Bay Area and tourists from around the world. Redevelopment construction is now underway. Those future visitors will see the legacy of the island preserved in our expanded future museum planned for Building One at historical venues around the islands and online at treasureislandmuseum.org. But there's lots for you to see now. Come visit. <laughs>